Hey guys, Stealth here. Today I'm going to start off with a quick deck review. This deck was sent in by Pontifex015. He says it's uh, a deck for a normal game. 2v2, 3v3 and 4v4. Now, for starters, this tells me absolutely nothing about the deck. Are you going to play Conquest? Are you going to play Destruction? Or are you going to play urban maps? Or are you going to play open maps? For me, that's a very, very important factor because Conquest plays different from Destruction and urban maps play different from open maps. So the more info you can give me in a deck description, the better. Anyway, let's see if I'm comfortable with this deck. Logistics looks decent. I don't need to change anything here. Infantry, um, it's a bit haphazard. We have a whole lot of Riflemen 90, which really aren't very good. Marines 90 in LVTP-7A1s, small in LVTP-7s, and a bunch of Humvees carrying Stinger Cs. Now these I'm definitely going to keep. Smalls as well, Marines as well. Light Riflemen I'm not particular, or sorry, the Riflemen I'm not particularly fond of. So those are going to go. Um, let's see, Light Riflemen 90 in Humvees. These have a decent standoff capability, 1900 meters, it's not great. Armor penetration leaves a bit to be desired, but at least they have some sort of standoff capability. I'm going to take 13 of those. Supports. Um, I got two artillery units and no mortars. I think that's not exactly coherent with my playstyle. So I'm going to delete... Uh, phew, not easy. I'm going to delete the Paladin. Take the LAVM. I'm going to try and keep the attackums in. The thing is I also want to have a longer range AA platform. And... Oh, yeah, here's... This is where most points have gone. 15 activation points in air. He has a Raven for Seed, two fighters, an anti-tank aircraft, um, another anti-tank unit in the form of a cluster bomber, and a Nighthawk. These two are a bit redundant. The Hornet is a great anti-tank unit. The Fighting Falcon is interesting if you have larger groups of units, especially, of course, um, mechanized units. But I feel that I have plenty of other capabilities. I'm going to delete that one. That'll allow me to bring in another long-range AA platform. And I'm always considering either the Patriot, the IHawk, or the Pip-3. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with the IHawk. I'm going to take seven of those. It's just a bit of an experiment. Because the Patriot doesn't have that many. And the other Hawk, uh, well, it does have a little... Actually, yeah, let's take that one. There's a little bit more range, but they're also slightly more expensive. Tanks, um, good selection, 55 points, 60 points, 120, 180, nice selection of tanks, not going to change that. Recce, we got the Navy Seals, um, I usually prefer to have passive spotters, and if I have passive spotters I'm not going to go for Seals. Seals in my opinion are very good at breaking down doors and killing infantry, that's not what I want to use these guys for. So the Seals are going to go away. Instead, they're going to change in um, the Rangers in a Black Hawk. This is going to be my passive spotter infantry. Then he has the M3A2 Bradley CFV. Uh, very, very nice unit, but it is very expensive. I'm going to change that one for the M3 Bradley. The reasoning behind this is that I don't need to have a very, very expensive uh, spotter platform. Right now I have a passive infantry spotter, rangers, I have a passive chief spotter, the mutt, and I have, let's say, a combat spotter in the form of the CFV. And finally, of course, the longbow. Nice unit, I'm going to keep that one. Vehicles. Uh, we got the CEV here, we got the Zippo, the ITV. Now the ITV, impressive as it is, I always wonder if it's actually going to be capable of firing all 12 missiles before it dies. Because in my experience that usually is not the case. Um, so this one's going to go out. I'm going to bring in the Humvee Tow 2. Seven of those. Humvee is slightly less expensive. They are faster. Um, they're also a bit smaller, which means they're harder to hit. They will die to any single shot, but so will the ITV. <coughs> And they only carry 8 missiles, which usually means that um, <laughs> even 8 missiles is too much. They usually don't live to fire that. Then I'm going to take the Comvat. 
combat being my auto cannon wielding unit. I don't have any of those yet. I only got a lot of grenade launchers in the LVTPs. Um, the Zippo and the CEV, I think, are a bit redundant. They have pretty much the same mission role. The Zippo is anti infantry. The CEV, pretty much the same deal. They're also anti infantry. I prefer the CEV over the Zippo because the CEV has far superior range. Their accuracy leaves something to be desired at only 25%, but, you know, it works. At least, for me, it usually works. So the Zippo's out. Um, while I already have the Comvat, I'm also going to bring in the LAV-25 FSV, the fire support vehicle. Because they're slightly cheaper, they have a different sort of gun. Which, um, while still being inferior to the combat, is mounted on faster platforms. So I'm going to use these things to plug holes where and uh, where I see them. So take a couple of those. Helicopters. Um, I got medium Cobras with the Ito missiles. For heavy anti-tank operations, I already got the longbow. A bunch of little birds and some daps for anti-air ops. Finally, air tab. Um, yeah, this all looks good. Got my anti-aircraft, anti-tank, bomber, and a seed aircraft. Okay, so let's see how this deck is going to perform. I'm going to pause it here and pull up the video again when I get you guys into battle. Hang on. Alright, battle is up. 2v2, conquest, hell in a very small place. Let's try and put this US deck to the test. If, by the way, you're looking for a longer US deck video review or deck review, I got a link to the uh, in the description to a video of that. So um, this video is really focused around seeing if this deck is any good. Anyway, I'm teamed up here with Sugar Free Lemons, and he's using a general you know, Germany deck. Now, with my infantry, I can probably dominate Bravo, but Sugar's going to take that. That's perfect. I'll take Golf. I don't really have any helicopter-borne troops, so I'm going to try and take the position quickly with my riflemen. Um, send over some Humvees as well. And then follow up with, let's say, a couple of Marines. Um, send over some Marines, some Smalls. That's going to be my left force, because this area usually isn't too good for using tank warfare. I'm also going to position some vehicles over here. And by doing that, I aim to neutralize this ridge line by putting a tank or two in there. Let's see. Whoa. Um, he has to focus on one flank. I'm going to put my CV here. It is conquest, so capturing areas is important. Let's go with... Uh, you know what? Go with an M1A2. Let's try the expensive opening this time around. Reconnaissance, mm, Rangers are the least bad option. Some vehicles, some combats to back up my M1A2. And let's go with uh, an MPT-70. See if he can control Echo for me. What? What? Where are you going? I'm gonna go to Gulf and Fox. So why is there a whole battalion gearing up on this flank? Because I'm only seeing a tiny bit of infantry on this flank. Echo and Bravo. No, we're gonna push the Gulf. Think bigger. If he would go to Echo, that wouldn't deal us any good. Because my forces are going to try and rush into Gulf. Which means his forces would be behind our lines, not being any kind of effect. Um, if he instead can take Foxtrot with that push. Then we might be able to put those Leopard 2A force to work. Um, okay, he's going to go to Gulf. I'll take Fox. And Bravo for him as well. A little bit of infantry there. Anyway, with me being in Fox, I'm going to try and push this position fast and far. Which means that my infantry loadout here 
is not ideal. Oh crap, we've got 10 seconds left. Nine. Well then, throw down some Abrams. Throw down another Chaparral. Helicopter defenses. Somebody is lagging like a madman. Sugar has a ping of 400. I see that being a problem. Alright, right now I have absolutely... Whoops, wrong helicopter. Right now I have absolutely... Come on. No infantry with me. So I'm going to have to rely on my mechanized forces here. Come on, buddy, get moving. Get moving. Oh god, he offloaded his troops. Uh-oh. Well then, I'm just going to have to carry this one for a bit. Go there, offload, get ready. I'm going to need to rush some infantry over here as quickly as possible before the enemy has the same idea. Whoa, they got there quick! Oh god, get moving, please. Because this is not looking good. So cold. Let's get one shot there. Rangers keep going, M1A2 move up, M1A1s up, combats, you know, just keep pushing, go, 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 there's no stopping this time around. If I stop, I'm going to run into a whole lot of trouble. There's a BRDM pushing into a position, let's put another AGS up, combat, move, hello. It's probably the BRDM. No, it's an OSA. Interesting. Oh god, where's your CV? Oh, there. Right. I can spot something there, but barely. What's the combat here? So that's a tank of unknown caliber. T-62. Alright, and once we're gonna make a killing here. There we go. Now this is a bit risky. If I can pull it off, I have a lot of terrain all of a sudden. Crap, they're coming in from my flank. Come that. We got a job here. I need to send up some more infantry here. Now I have a feeling I am massively overextending. Okay, put a CV in there. Perfect. Now we're leading. I'm massively overextending. But if I can get away with it, then I might be able to start reinforcing this flank. Alright, keep pushing. Oh, offload. If you want to live. Got a yak there. Chaps, you're up. Please shoot down the yak. Hits, kill. God. Okay. Chavis at Curry's. Set up another LBTP. Another rain, uh, marine unit there. Um, Vista Rush. I never play this aggressively, I gotta tell you. It is very unusual for me. And I'm not seeing a lot of resistance either. Hello. Talk about resistance. That's a command tank down. This one's gonna be in for a bit of hurting. There we go, he's down. Now we're leading by plus three. Interesting. Okay, that may be some sort of auto cannon. Come the LVTPs. Without a good spotter, though, that M8 is gonna get. Yeah, he's already taking fire. He's down. Need to bring in more spotters. Hello, BRDM. Alright. I'm 
pushing through like crazy, and it seems to be working as well. Uh, let's send over a little bird. I also got to start thinking about capturing some terrain, because I'm not actually moving up. Or, well, actually, that's not entirely true. I am moving up. I just don't really have anything to hold all of that terrain. I need CVs. And I need some more hammocks here to fix stuff. Let's just visit the car, yes? Yeah. These guys are a bit too close. This line's not looking... Oh, what's going on? 71 destroyed. Oh, we're taking fire from the woods here. Okay. Auto cannon fire, probably. Most likely, yo, that's a BMPT. Yeah, that's different. Um. Yeah. For that, I'm gonna have to bring up something a bit heavier. Little bird. Go do your job. This was my marine squad. Move there and offload. Smalls. Oh right, I got an MBT-70 here. Push up to that position. Let's link you up with a spotter. Shit, they killed the command there. That's a bit problematic. Uh, put them in the buildings. That's the problem here, we don't have the buildings. We need to patch this hole quickly. How far do you guys think I might be able to push here? Could I go all the way towards their cap? Could I really get away with being that aggressive? Hello. Oh, a lot of transports coming in. Like the Schützen. Those guys first, they are posing a bit of a problem. Uh, I think one of my Ebers needs fixing. Shit, bummer! That's one Abrams down, and the other Abrams is massively hurting. Get my M182 up here as well before the tanks arrive. There's something there. Load the infantry. Whoa! Whoever's left of the infantry, anyway. T72 MIMs. Yeah, that'll do that to you. They did? Yeah, they did. Shit. Um. Set up a longbow. Neutralize that push. Whoa! This thing took a massive hit. Ah, uh, shit. Major Jim, right from the flank. They got infantry in there. Right, so now I really overextended. And I got nothing to stop those tanks. Maybe the Abrams at short range, but nothing else. Hello, Moskaya. my Bratley down. I need the longbow up here right now. That's my Abrams down. Next they're gonna capture that thing. Or, yeah, they're gonna decide to blow it up. Okay. Fair enough. Another M182 or M1A1. Hit. Longbow. What? What are you doing, Sunshine? You're just spinning around. One down. Ooh, Longbow took a hit. IL-102 took a hit. IL-102 is going to plow right through my Marines. 
send my longbow back. I have lost longbows too often to being overextended. Might as well push a command unit into Fox or Charlie. Charlie, of course, would be better, but I have absolutely nothing to defend that area with. Any chance we can find those targets there? AT4, 19 hour penetration. That's barely want? enough to go through the front of a BMPT. Barely. Send over. Oh, oh. Just for a to fly by. What are you and going for? My Hammett, probably. Or just the Chaparral altogether. Order, yeah, that was the Chaparral. Alright, let's pull back slightly. Longbow being fixed and rearmed. He needs to offload that. Get a plus three ASAP. PRDM? Oh crap, I got nothing to deal with a PRDM 3. So Abrams has to move. T62. Too expensive. Scratch it. Alright, you offloaded those. They are, however, slightly out of cover. Hello, boys. You got auto cannons, and I have grenade launchers and armor. Don't know who's going to win that engagement. You won, but not by much. Hold. Kill it. Beautiful. Longbow's fixed up. Need to get more spotters in here. T62 at short range. We need to keep this thing at long range if I want to maximize my armor potential. Because right now the T62 can and will penetrate my armor. It's probably a BRDM or something. Send over commands. This is the small teams. They're not really meant to go after those targets, but they can do it. Pull these back a little bit. Oh. Oh, Longbow. Where are you at? Got a target here. You guys are amphibious, so you might as well try to use that ability. Send over another support tank. Oh, Jesus Christ! Scratch one longbow. I can save up for the Atacams, but it's gonna take me quite a while. Shit. What's he going for? Nothing in particular, okay. He needs help. He's being engaged heavily by tanks. I think a helicopter or two would be able to nail that. Mm, yeah. Got that into cover. Got that away. Get your recon helo away. Mortars are never supposed to be on the front line like that. My marines might be able to support these guys and help out against the tanks here. I'm gonna need a small team here. What can the infantry do for you, sir? Why, hello. This one transport down. That's what I wanted to achieve. The tank's coming to me. I did send in a helicopter, right? Yeah, here it is. Fly in. Get close and help out. I need that tail rotor check. Lost eyes. Uh, get the command infantry offloaded here. A T7. Okay, now I'm definitely going to buy one of those uh, Atacams. Sir, yes, sir. 
Nice work with the grenade launcher. Position captured. Blackhawk away. Little points off, but I can make it work. I still don't particularly have a big presence here. Fox secured. Hello, guys. I didn't expect you here so soon. I'm not sure if that cobra's gonna hit anything. They're retreating behind the hill. One tank down. Come on, Marines. One more round. Yes! That's it. Alright, time to get the Atacams in. There it is. Um, hold your position. Fire one round. Hang on. Just this one. Fire one round. 80% of points, plus two lead. Yeah, we got this. Missile away. That thing's down. That one next. The amount of aircraft here is getting a bit high. Second missile away. First missile about to arrive. Splash one T-72BU. Second missile airborne. Well set up there. About to arrive. Splash. Plus four. Yes, please. Now, let's send up the air patrol. Because they keep doing airstrikes on my ally here. Can't have that. He's flying all the way around. Alright, block 52, make it work. Bye-bye. Okay. Taking some air response there. I think he's going to come back to base full of hulls, probably. Alright, plus four. This thing's going to be over real quick now. He has a command unit in there, so so is the enemy. Whoa! That's a whole lot of troops. Little birds to back up this position. I gotta say, you love grenade launchers. This range, they are just perfect. And they just decide to fire back and win instantly. Send up some more uh, marines here. Oh, we got it. Nice one. Okay. 21, sorry, 2,500 points gained. 1,270 points losses. Not too bad, I gotta say. Um, note, the players that I went up with were not having... Or not they... I don't think they were that experienced. So, I gotta say that as a side note. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to use this deck, copy the deck code from the description down below. Make sure you don't copy any additional hyphens, marks, whatever that the deck code has. Um, if you want to send me your deck, you can do so through the link in the description, and the same goes for the replay. Just keep in mind that I get a lot of replays. I will not give you uh, a guarantee that your replay is going to be featured, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.